So here we have a 2003 Carib hard bottom. The tubes are 2005. It was retubed in 2005 with double thick Hypalon from the Carib factory. The hull is a double choppered hull, which means that it's twice the fiberglass thickness. Additionally, the hull has epoxy gel coat over it, uh, over the, the, the double choppered fiberglass. Have radar arch with lights, can be used to tow a wakeboarder. Has a 2003 50 horsepower Honda, about 150 hours. All D-rings installed along the side for additional tie-down points as needed. Bimini top. Has a bench seat. VHF radio. Compass. Also has a fish finder that's not currently on here but comes with the boat. Uh, the receiver's in the back. Has a six gallon bow tank up front. Uh, there's also an additional cushion that goes on the front that's been removed to show access to the gas tank. Has locker in the stern uh, that accommodates two batteries, bilge pump, and general stowable items. Has rod holders, multiple rod holders to be used for fishing as, as desired. Has teak deck that was installed. Has cockpit lighting. Additionally, it has uh, running lights and nighttime lights installed up top for driving. Also has fire extinguisher that comes with it. Here's a um, here's a shot of the transom. You can see the epoxy gel coat comes all the way up over the stern, um, fully encasing the hull. Two drainage points: one for uh, the chamber in between the hull, and then one for the cockpit there in the stern. LED lights on the trailer. Trailer's galvanized trailer. 2003 also has spare tire on the front. starboard side of the boat. And in there you can see the uh, the fire extinguisher which, with an additional five rod holders. Boat has a total of 12 rod holders. Don't know why you need so many but the previous owner had installed that many. Handles up front. It's a two owner boat. I'm the second owner. The first owner was actually a uh, Professional inflatable repairman, which is how he ended up with the double thick Hypalon and ordered the hull custom from Kareeb with double chopper thickness. So it's it's really a one of a kind boat. You're not going to find a, diff, a boat that's uh, a better all around boat for anything you want to do, whether it's um, diving, fishing, wakeboarding, whatever you want, this boat will do it. Actually, does the 50 horsepower does pull up a wakeboarder.